Guys, thanks for being here. Richard, you used to work for Hillary Clinton. Is she a good loser? Why is she blaming Jim Comey for her loss? You know, it's funny, uh, Judge. Hillary Clinton got 1.5 million more votes. Donald Trump got a smaller percentage of the vote okay, uh, let's than Mitt not, Romney. Look, no, no, no. he won. I'm just saying, she didn't. It's a democratic process. The question exactly. is, why is she being a sore loser? Well, she's, she, she's, she won the popular vote, right? So you'll concede that more people voted for her. You'll concede you that concede every sentence... you concede that the Constitution dictates who course, the winner is in a presidential course, election? And that course, it is but, determined by the Electoral College? Absolutely, but every sentence that Donald That's Trump enough. says we that begins. We don't have that much time, Richard. Oh no! Listen, but every time he says the voters elected me Richard, to do X, that's Richard. untrue. Is she now, her blaming Jim Comey for the loss, uh, uh, the sign of a sore loser? I think Kellyanne Conway would tell you exactly what Hillary Clinton said. Kellyanne was on TV 5:30 oh p.m. on election day. No, of course Comey's responsible. Uh, look, were there so other things the campaign could have done? So then she's not a sore loser is the answer to the question. I'm saying that but for Jim Comey doing what he did, she wins. Okay. I don't think anybody would disagree with that, even in the Trump campaign. Okay, good. David. Judge, uh, a line that Hillary Clinton will know well is our long national nightmare is over. And whether it's that we don't have to deal with the Hillary Clinton campaign or a Hillary Clinton presidency, or as uh, President-elect Trump said tonight, he doesn't want to hurt the Clintons and isn't sure whether charges should be brought against uh, her or whether they will be pursued. It is time to go about the business of the American yeah. people. And, and, you know, and I have let's to tell you, David, I was very jobs. impressed with that. Let's start. He, he just right. said, I want to work. But listen, guys, I want you to listen to this sound. Uh, it has to do with uh, social media and spending money. I think it helped me win all of these races where they're spending much more money than I spent. You know, I spent my money, a lot of my money, and I won. I think that social media has more power than the money they spent, and I think maybe to a certain extent I proved that. All right, guys, that was on 60 Minutes tonight. Uh, Donald and his family he had a co immediate family, 18 million Facebook followers, Twitter, 19 and a half, Instagram, six. Uh, and is that the sign of a new way of campaigning, David? Uh, yes, and Donald Trump is going to need it. If you watch that 60 Minutes interview tonight, it is very clear that every media interview that Donald Trump goes on, he is going to be condescended to by the reporters because they can't stand him. And it is very clear. Not only did we see it in the campaign, but we saw it tonight on, on CBS with Leslie Stahl's interview. It's going to continue. And what Donald Trump said is, is look, I'm going to find other ways to communicate directly to the American people and it worked. All right, Richard, is is this is this a new way of campaigning and because clearly the pollsters got it all wrong. Yeah. So, look, he got 2 billion dollars of free airtime, having nothing to do with social media, free airtime by all estimates, right? More than anybody else got. So, you can't really discount that. He he didn't have to pay a cent for it. Well, Good for him. Well, okay? Really? That was very well, that was very clever it, it, on his part. Being called a racist and being called uh, Well, you know what? Every by name having in the book against hey, David, him is free David, airtime, Richard. David, David, by having a white nationalist as your chief strategist, you're not exactly separating yourself <laughs> from the charge of racism and anti-Semitism. You're Richard, feeding right into that. Richard, last time I checked, the president makes decisions and staff executes what the president wants what makes his decisions to do. The decisions that are going to get made in the White House And he House made the decision the to have a white nationalist at you his know, side. Look, Richard, Richard, I have to tell you something. You know, we have a president-elect who was asked whether he wanted a special prosecutor for Hillary Clinton. And his answer was, I have important things to do, jobs and the economy. He's showing class. He's showing class and talking about Hillary Clinton immediately when he was elected. He's showing class by calling the president a good man. I think the rest of the Democrats all to follow the way this man is conducting himself. And, yeah. I, you know, I have to tell you, it doesn't bode well for you. It really well, does. Judge, wait. L judge, listen, add, David, hold wait, on, David, 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 listen. The, that question, David, this, that Donald was directed Trump to me. Tonight, David, right. let me. Richard answer it David, because I put listen, it to him. Richard. You cannot deny, Judge, 
I'm Jewish. White nationalists think Jews and blacks and Hispanics are second-class citizens. Who are Sub-human. you talking about? Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon you is his what? chief uh, you strategist. Can a Bannon. That's sweet. Donald. Look, we're talking about the president of the United States and his interview on 60 Minutes. The fact that you don't want to say anything nice about him and you got to go left or right is not what we're talking about. David, go ahead. Judge, tonight, uh, Donald Trump, which we still have not heard from Hillary Clinton or President Obama, said folks should not be out rioting. And even his supporters, if they are doing something against other Americans, they should stop. He looked directly into the camera and said they should stop. If that's not an indication Amen. as to the type of good. administration but, but he's going to run, don't you agree? I don't know Shouldn't what is. the president and Hillary come out and say enough? Enough of what? Look, look, of these judge. protests. Judge, Look, protesting they're is They're not directing the protests. The fact is, I, I understand it's probably hard. Imagine how you would have felt no, and David had Trump lost. No, I didn't care when a Democrat got elected or a Republican. Look, that's the people have spoken. That's the system. No, I, of course, but again, when your side gets more votes and ends up on the uh, short end of the stick, there's something about it that doesn't feel